Nice shot, Scott. We're fishing on a small tributary of the Potomac River with renowned bass guide Steve Chaconis and snakehead stalker Derek Radoski. This is uh, where one of the first snakeheads was caught on the Potomac River about four years ago. And uh, we've kind of called it Snakehead Alley now because this is where we see a lot of them. Snakehead Alley? You do with some specialized traps out there is to... Back in 02, natural resources officials poisoned one waterway and drained another to exterminate the so-called frankenfish for fear the air-breathing, snaggletooth, illegally released Asian invader might ruin Maryland's environment by eating everything in sight. It didn't work. And so far, the dire predictions have not come true either. The snakeheads are here to stay. Uh, there's, no, there's no natural predator for, for them. Our fishing proved the native largemouth bass are still here in good numbers, but there by a bulkhead swam a school of baby snakeheads just hatched, and then... Oh, it is. Yeah, you got a snakehead, bro. Look at that. Right, look at that. Holy cow, it is a snakehead. Here you go. Slide him out. Got a Holy <laughs> <laughs> Yes, the feared snakehead, teeth, sinister snake-like skin colors, and all. This is the first time we've actually gone out fishing for a snakehead and caught one. Well, unlike a regular day sport fishing with Steve, where you catch and release the fish, it's illegal to put this snakehead back in the water. And this catch is going to have to be reported to Maryland's Department of Natural Resources. Let's see, you left-handed kind of grab the line and feather it down. Back to fishing now, and what's going on here in the Potomac is still unclear. I wouldn't say that they're, they're taking over. I, I'd say that they're expanding. Uh, and eventually in small areas, you'll see that they become the dominant species in that particular area. But now that it's here, it's kind of like a case of turning lemons into lemonade. Uh, we want to take advantage of it. Meanwhile, wildlife officials have given up trying to kill off snakeheads in favor of tracking them and hoping they stay confined to the tidal Potomac River south of D.C. by saltwater downstream and waterfalls upstream. And a very few sportsmen are now targeting a rare trophy almost exclusively. When you go snakehead fishing, it's more like snakehead hunting. But you were definitely in the right spot with two people that have been, uh, been chasing these for a few years. So we've seen a lot of them. We've hooked a few of them. Steve's broke off some. Uh, getting the one in the boat the size that you got isn't a typical thing. It's something to be proud of. You the man. You the man. On the Potomac River, Scott Broom, ABC2 News.